welcome to the third installment of Exploring Friends. It's currently 5 a.m. and I'm on my way to Epinal. I'm leaving from Charleville, Lisieux, and as you can see, it's pitch black outside. And I'm one of the only people on the train. Basically, we're four in the whole train, but then again, at 5 a.m., who wants to be on a train? <laughs> Okay, so to arrive to our destination, we have to take three regional trains and we're at the first stop, so our first correspondence, and we are Loglion, which I have no idea where it is, but, and it's what, like 6.30, so I think we're gonna arrive at like 12, so it's gonna be a long train day. Hello and welcome back, as you can see from behind me, I'm at the Gare of Epinal, and I finally made it after all the correspondence, and right in front of it, to my right, is the hotel, which show them please, it's on that street there and I'm gonna write the name because it's somewhere there but I'm gonna write the name because I'm, I kind of recommend it it was basic but very nice let's go let's explore the city so we have just arrived in the room and to be honest it's very basic but nice and like clean so I'm happy I'm gonna show you very quickly it's actually also very French because um, the bathroom is separated like you have in France which is here very quickly you have the toilet like I said very basic then this is the main room and you have a desk a little place to put your suitcase so super comfortable a corner where you can get like a make your drink they have like coffee and they have also given us teas so i'm happy about that it's very early i could use a coffee and then you have the bed which is again super basic but it's very like tidy clean i quite like it and then we have TV. Then we have here the TV, a closet. I think I haven't opened it, but I'm guessing. Yeah, and like with some blankets. Also, it's right next to the station. I don't think you can see it from here. No. Here we have the bathroom, which again super basic. You just have a bathtub and a sink. Okay, so after arriving to the hotel, we took a quick nap, but I wanted to quickly tell you that the reason why we came to Epinal was for a football game. We're here to watch my boyfriend's favorite team play, which doing a lot of road to watch a team play might seem crazy, but he really wanted to do it since he hasn't seen them like in a year because of COVID. And yes, it might be like a crazy amount of road to come here just for the, the match, but we didn't necessarily just come for that. We're also gonna be visiting Nancy, Metz and Luxembourg. So definitely stay tuned to see those cities and explore them with me. This is what my boyfriend's t-shirt of Sedan looks like. This is what my t-shirt looks like. It's actually very big. It's not really mine, but it was lent it to me. And mine is like an older edition in the back. Do you have something in the back? Mm-hmm. Voila! Let's go. So I'm currently at the Pont de Quatre Nations and all of those obstacles is to be able to do kayak apparently. I'm currently standing in front of the Notre Dame Church of Epinal and its particularity is that it has the biggest one piece vitral of all of France.
so now I'm going to show you a very typical um, dish, let's say. Or I don't know how to, how to call it, but basically that one is chicken, which is not typical, but this one is called a pâte lorraine. Right? Pâté lorrain. Uh, sorry, which is supposedly super typical and it's uh, pork, like cooked in red wine, I think, and like um, creme. Basilic of San Maurice. This square where I'm standing used to be a cemetery. Later on, after the French Revolution, it shifted into a wine market, and currently it's a very pretty and lively square. And right in front of me, so turn around, please, you can see the Palais de Justice. here on my right I have the Chinese Tower of Epinan um, supposedly you have like a nicer view if you go down although I'm not too sure we're actually gonna go because we still have to make it to the castle and basically you, you we went up to then come down and now we're going back up so lazy I'm really out of shape but if you want we can go down eh, and to look at it okay that is the Basilic of San Maurice and the view is quite cute from here. I've made it to uh, what used to be a school. And now we're gonna go to the castle. And actually the park is way bigger than I thought. I thought it was small. Hey, baby. And the castle is all made and surrounded by this beautiful pink granite. You can see the pink granite at its best, it's extremely pink, super pretty. So I'm right at the castle, I made it after walking so much, oh my god. I think you have to be a little bit fit, otherwise good luck. Baby goes to
The, um, we just finished the game and uh, it was a tie so like Sedan was leading for most of the game 1-0 to zero, but then at the end the opponents scored and I just want to say that I think the referee was a little biased I think but then okay there was never a red card never. although the um, the stadium wasn't that nice because already um, like the seats were extremely dirty and that rarely happens like when you actually go to like Sedan Stadium or other stadiums It was the first time that a seat was so dirty that I didn't want to sit and another thing is that they didn't let me enter like with my tea box and There was like one person in particular who was like, oh no, because you could throw it But then you had like the supporters that had entered. Well, how do you call the thing to speak the Speakers. Yeah, the supporters had entered like with the uh, speakers and I mean how can I throw my small tea bag and yet they're not gonna throw their huge enormous speaker? So yeah, I ended up hiding it like outside and I found it. So that's nice. To the not very Italian pizza, Anthony. got back to the hotel and I wanted to quickly show you what we bought from the tourist office so we got packets of candies you have these ones which are like um, Mirabel which is their very typical plum I think it's what 70% of all the Mirabels are produced in this region right of the world so 70% of all the Mirabels in the world are produced here that's very impressive and it's a very nice plum like uh, if I find it I will show it to you and then I also got this one which is Resin de Vosges and um, they're quite nice the last thing I got which is also the one I'm most excited for is this black tea with Mirabel that's the famous tea that they wouldn't let me enter with so I had to hide it like on the bushes uh, sorry you can hear the boiler and basically it's black tea uh, Mirabel, jasmine, orange and rose and it smells 
so nice france has very very nice teas i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i really had fun filming it for you guys and see you next time oh don't forget to subscribe like share bye and thanks